Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Today I'm going to be reacting to a song that you've been recommending a lot. This will be Diana Ankudinova singing Dernier Dance. Now a bunch of you were also recommending Human, and I will be reacting to that as well, but a few of you said I should really listen to Dernier Dance first. So this is going to be taken from her performance in November of 2018 at the Good Wave Festival. Let's get to it. Диану Анкутинову, ваши аплодисменты. Hmm. Oh, I love that hairstyle. a good beat. Pause a little bit. Oh, this is cool. This is catchy. Uh, I like, I, I like the beat. I really like the beat. That's about the song. That's not about her. I'm here to talk about her. But I have to tell you, I just, I just like the song a lot. It's cool. Um, she's got really good French. I'm particular about French. I studied for part of my uh, education at a French conservatory, and then I had the coach from the Metropolitan Opera tear apart my French after that to make it better for opera. So I'm I'm particular about French. She's got really good French. It's spectacular. It's very difficult to sing through some of the nasal vowels in French. And as she's doing it very well, um, you have to sort of balance between singing uh, into your nose just a little bit to make it a nasal vowel, vowel like en, un, these sounds. Um, but when you're singing it, you can't go too nasal because that will make the tone quality kind of funky. So you have to balance and give it like a little more backspace. And she's doing that really well. I don't know if that's just natural or if she specifically has studied that technique, but it's working fabulously. Also, she is amazing on stage. I just love the way she'll strike a pose and hold it. She's kind of, she's just magical. Uh, on top of that, I'm loving, there are these like harmonic minor scales in the song that she's singing and she's ornamenting them in this way that is super cool. It's very ethnic sounding, but also it's very modern and hip. So very, very cool sound. Let's keep going. Okay, another thing that I love about her is the way she's using her language to create rhythm. This is really cool. When she was just singing vol, 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 you can hear the way she's very carefully putting these consonants on the beat. And as a singer, it's just, it's different from other instruments, how you create rhythm. You have to use your articulation to create rhythm. She's doing such a good job of it. Uh, I will go back, listen to this. It's really cool. Listen to the way she's placing her consonants to create the rhythm here. Here we go. 
It's good. Mmm, <laughs> and a great combination. Oh. Okay, she's just embraced that crying off of her break. She's embraced it and made it a part of her style, of her identity as an artist. And I love it. Love it, love it. That's where she's like going from uh, her chest voice and she's leaning into that break to kind of cry off of it a little bit. It's super cool. I think that comes from her background in yodeling. And I love seeing how she's made it a mainstream sound. Fabulous. Also, her tone quality is out of this world. This girl's voice is... It's so mature for her age and it's so deep and profound and it's like, uh, it's just, I can't even describe it. I don't have the right words. It's, uh, it, it's amazing. Uh, true, true contralto sound from somebody who's incredibly young. Okay, gonna keep going. Gonna try and finish this before I talk again. Amazing. Ah, I love this girl. <sighs> okay, her her section where she was doing, again, you, you know that I talk about the yodeling, the way she's going between her break, she's going between chest voice and head voice and kind of bouncing back, on back and forth on both sides. She does it in a run here and that was so cool. That was the moment when I looked at you and was like, what was that? Uh, I love it. Also, I love the way she ended the song in her head voice and just kind of like, a <sighs> little sigh at the end. I am loving it. The danger and the focus and um, the intensity. That's really what it is. She brings so much intensity to this piece, whether or not it's because she's having fun and just enjoying the song, or if it's because she's directing a straight line out, like a message to somebody that seems very dangerous. Oh, it's super cool. The other one thing I want to point out before I listen to that little in section one more time is I love the way she's able to alternate between incredibly rhythmic singing. She's boom, 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 boom with her consonants. And she's also able to make these beautiful legato lines that are just, uh, you have to approach that differently as a singer. One is much more like, ha, 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 right? Where it's very, um, it's rhythmic. It's got a little more um, like diaphragmatic, I would say like pulsing that can be happening. And then the other one, it just needs to be this long phrase. They're very different approaches and she's alternating between the two of them very well. Let's check some of that out. So that was a more lyric line. Yeah, a lot more look out singing. Yeah, 
So those are longer exclamations that are have a rhythmic impulse at the beginning. Ah, she's able to continue her whole line with this little bit of rhythmic impulse underneath her feet. Whoa. Such an enchanting performance. I love it so much. I uh, thank you everyone for introducing me to Dernier Dance, performed by Diana Ankudenova. She has one of the most unique tone qualities that I have ever heard. And this was such a fun song to hear it in. So thank you so much for those recommendations. I will be back soon with another reaction to her performing Human. So stay tuned for that. And I hope to see you sometime in one of the premieres where I chat with everyone at 8 o'clock on Mondays and Fridays. Thanks for joining me today and see you soon. Bye.